The Hour of Truth is a one-act play by Percival Wilde. Percival Wilde was born in New York City on March 1, 1887 and died on September 19, 1953. He was an American author and playwright who wrote novels and numerous short stories and one-act plays. He almost so authored a textbook on the theater arts. Wilde's plays were especially popular in the little theater movement. Characters in the play, Robert Baldwin, secretary to a banker, John Gresham, Martha, wife to Robert Baldwin, John Baldwin Gresham son of Robert Baldwin and Martha, Evie, daughter of Robert Baldwin and Martha, Mr. Marshall, president of Third National Bank, a maid, John Gresham, owner of a wrecked bank, he does not make appearance on stage. The setting of the play, the scene, at Baldwin's. It is a rather hot and sultry Sunday afternoon, and the sun overhead, and the baked clay underfoot are merciless. In the distance, lowering clouds, give promise of coming relief. And at the parlor window of a trim little cottage, the Baldwin family is anxiously waiting the return of its head. John, the son, an average young man of twenty-seven, is smoking a pipe as philosophically, as if this day were in no wit more momentous than any other. But his mother, trying to compose herself with her knitting, has made little progress in the last half hour, and his sister, takes no pain to conceal her nervousness. There is a tense pause. It seems as if none of them likes to break the silence. For the tenth time in ten minutes, Evie, goes to the window and looks out along the sultry road. Plot of the play, Robert Baldwin is an honest family man and the secretary of a powerful banker named, John Gresham. Mr. Gresham and Mr. Baldwin were friends for 35 years. The bank owned by Mr. Gresham wrecks due his own misappropriation of its funds, though he did not aim to cheat his depositors. As the diverted fund does not come back in time, the bank collapses. He is charged with fraud and forgery. Before the opening of the play, Mr. Gresham sends for Mr. Baldwin. Mr. Baldwin is the only witness in the case against Mr. Gresham, and the trial is to take place the very next day. Robert Baldwin's wife, Martha, his son John, and Evie his daughter are waiting anxiously for his return. When the play opens, they are anxious to know why Mr. Gresham, implicated in the case has asked to see Mr. Baldwin. All the three have strong faith in Mr. Baldwin's honesty, and know that he would not give in to any temptation, set forth by Mr. Gresham. John is in fact very upset with John Gresham for his treatment of his father. He believes that Mr. Gresham has been exploiting his father and underpaying him all these years. He hopes that Mr. Gresham would get a deserving punishment in the court for his crimes. He wants his father to strongly testify against Mr. Gresham in the court. It has begun to rain when Mr. Robert Baldwin returns. Martha asks her husband, why Mr. Gresham had asked for a meeting with him. Initially he is unwilling to disclose the details, but later tells them that, Mr. Gresham had promised him a hundred thousand dollars. Just to say I don't remember, when the court asks questions on important details, the family members are stunned by this disclosure. Till now they wanted Mr. Gresham to be punished. Now their sense of honor, and decency changes all of a sudden. Selfishness, greed and dishonesty come to the forefront. Now they think that, Mr. Gresham may be allowed to let go. Mr. Baldwin had not told the story behind the wreck of the bank to anyone else, even to his family. He would not tell it to the news reporters, and there was a cloud of suspicion over his reputation. His own family members had suspected that, he knew about Mr. Gresham's illegal activities from the beginning. He did not think it necessary to clear his name. He would tell the truth only in the court. Mr. Gresham had told Baldwin that, the hundred thousand dollars was not a bribe, but a compensation for what he actually should have paid him. John now thinks that, it is right to accept the money. He claims that, Mr. Gresham has done nothing wrong to the depositors, since they would not lose a penny. He does not want Gresham to be punished, as his name would too be tarnished. Mr. Gresham was John's godfather, and Mr. Baldwin had given his own son, the name of his friend, even. His wife Martha, whom he thought would stand with him, 
turns dishonest. He is shocked, at the dishonesty shown by his own family members. The mask of honesty is torn down, and they all stand naked before truth. He tells them that, he has only a few more years to live, and that he would go to his grave clean. He cannot do anything wrong, if he knows that to be wrong. Doing anything dishonest is extremely painful to him. When Mr. Baldwin tells them that, he had declined Mr. Gresham's proposal, they are disappointed. He also tells them that Mr. Gresham, who knew Mr. Baldwin too well, showed no surprise at all when he declined the money. Mr. Gresham knew that, nothing, any amount of money, can lure him away from his honest life. The fact that Mr. Gresham showed no surprise itself is taken by Mr. Baldwin as a reward. However Mr. Baldwin is disappointed by the greed and dishonesty shown by his family members. He wants them at least to be honest with themselves. Robert Baldwin's honesty and integrity, is finally rewarded with the arrival of Mr. Marshall, the president of the Third National Bank which controls all the private banks. Mr. Marshall had visited Mr. John Gresham, and Gresham had told Mr. Marshall about his attempt to bribe Mr. Baldwin. Mr. Gresham knew that, it is better to confess his crime, rather than going to trial, with Mr. Baldwin testifying against him. He knew, he stood no chance, if Mr. Baldwin tell the truth in the court. So he confessed his crime, Mr. Marshall rewards Mr. Baldwin, by offering him a job in the Third National Bank. Ultimately honesty prevails, and is rewarded. Character Sketch of Robert Baldwin Percival Wilde's one-act play, The Hour of Truth, is an intense psychological study of the corrupting influence of money on people. Robert Baldwin is an honest and upright man, who wants to go to his grave clean. Mr. Robert Baldwin was the secretary of a powerful bank owner Mr. John Gresham. They knew each other for the last 35 years. Mr. Gresham is accused of misappropriating the bank's money, which in turn, hurts the clients of the bank. As a result of the arrest, Gresham begs Mr. Baldwin, to simply say three words, during the trial. He just need to say just three words. I don't remember, when important questions are asked. As a reward, he offered him a hundred thousand dollars, an amazing amount of money. When Mr. Baldwin rejected it, Mr. Gresham showed no surprise, as he knew Baldwin well and nothing could take him away from an honest life. Baldwin takes it as a compliment. Once again, money changes everything. It is his family who suddenly changes from being virtuous, respectable and honest, to greedy selfish and dishonest, and asking Robert to tell a lie agonist his values. When they hear about the bribe, which Gresham calls a payment, they insist that maybe Robert should consider saying just those three words. Baldwin never thought that his family would think of such a thing. He is upset and angry. Yet, it is Robert Baldwin what brings the hope back into the story. He simply cannot accept a bribe but, most importantly, he cannot bear telling a lie even if it is just three words. For this reason, he respectfully rejects the offer. This action left Mr. Gresham ashamed of himself, which led him to confess his crime. The end of the story is positive, because, Robert Baldwin's honesty and integrity landed him a job, in the Third National Bank. His reputation as a decent dignified and honest man is spread out by Mr. Gresham himself. He decides to confess and take the punishment. He knows that Robert is a very honest man and nothing can change him.